Hello and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. I'm not only 25 and this is Stranded Deep. So this is a survival game that I like the look of. I was talking to a friend and I said I just really fancied a survival game that was kind of just, you know, proper survival, some good mechanics, let you get on with it. Um, apparently this is the game for me, so I'm gonna dive straight in. Now I did have a little play, about an hour or so, just to get used to the controls, so it's not really frustrating watching me try to work out how to use the crafting menu and stuff. So other than that though, I have no idea what to expect. So we're just doing an existing world, single player, normal difficulty, normal wildlife, male character, permadeath off, so if I die I can, you know, load back. I'll keep all the deaths on camera for you. I'm sure there'll be plenty. Uh, but permadeath, you know, it doesn't make much sense to me to have to start over repeatedly. I'm a noob after all. So this should be fun. Let's get started. So yes, we want to overwrite the existing save, which is just my test world. Let's get into it. Okay, what's going on here then? Ugh. Well, this seems fine. A little bit of turbulence, nothing to worry about. That's normal, that happens all the time. Um, that's not normal though. Okay, oh, this is me now, is it? Okay, I'm now in control. Uh, and here's a little way out, so we've got to get to a life raft on the surface. Uh, right here. That was convenient. Ooh. Well, that was the series, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I'm kidding. Let's see what this wants us to do here. All right, day one. Beautiful. Right, we're in a little rubber dinghy, I'd call this, in the UK. Uh, life raft, apparently you guys call it. Uh, there's a big shark, that's a bit uh, alarming, so what I'm going to do, press E to pick up this paddle, and E to hold E to operate. And we're going to beeline it over here to this little island, watch out for that rock there. And then the tutorial tells me to get to shore. I think I've done that. Uh, let's see if we can place this back. Got a feeling I might need that, there we go. So let's jump off, and I know this from playing previously. Hold and right click drags your raft ashore here onto the beach. Beautiful. All right, so that's about the extent of my knowledge of the game. <laughs> uh, so I can pick up resources I can find around the island. So right there, I can see a rock. Let's pick that up. Pick up another one. Give that to me. Oh, there's a, there's a crab. Press tab to open my inventory. All right, there it is. Empty hands. Okay, so this has got rations, compass. Okay, so some good useful survival stuff in there, so that's handy. So let's try and remember. We're on the kind of north northeast side of this little island here. That's handy to know. Okay, so it's telling me to press C to open the crafting menu. Oh, that's a quick craft, that's right. So if I press C, it brings it up. And craft a stone tool. There we go. And let's make that our primary here. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that actually. It's, it wanted me to craft a refined knife, didn't it? So what's this one? It wants a stick. Okay, I'm sure we can arrange that. So quick craft. No, 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 I've got enough. Oh, I need lashing, okay. Lashing is so important in this, is what I've learned. So you need these fibrous leaves that you see. But this is cool, isn't it? It's like I'm on a little desert island, having to survive. There's other islands about. I can craft a raft, because this thing's a piece of garbage. This much I know. This much I know. Watch out for the crops. If I press F, these are my stats. So that's pretty cool. We're looking good just now. We need four of these fibrous leaves in order to craft lashing, which we need for our little refined axe, you know. But here's another one. Beautiful. Give it to me. Give it to me. So now, oh, we can make kindling lash lashing. That's what we need. And then refine the knife. Kill a crab. Okay. That can be arranged, my friends. And skin the crab using your refined knife. Oh, that's disgusting. I agree, that is disgusting. Next up, we have to craft a campfire. So this is a really good tutorial, actually. Actually, this I did this tutorial once. It took me best part of a day and a half in the game, uh, but it really helped me get to grips with the game. So it's a really good tutorial. We need to do a campfire. So that'll be over here. Okay, fire is just four sticks. We have two. Uh, we chop this down using a little knife. There we go. That works. 
So we might as well just dump everything in this little bit where we've run aground here. Craft kindling. I'm guessing I'm going to need sticks again for that. Let's have a look. Yeah, two more sticks. Makes sense. It makes sense. It's all logical, which I like. Go, oh, give me those sticks. Give them to me. Craft the kindling using the quick craft menu there. That's beautiful. Now we've got to light the fire. If you've ever played International Track and Field, uh, that's what this is. So you, again, you have to equip this in your hand because it's logical. Hold E to light it. And then you've got a left mouse button, right mouse button, just like Track and Field. Luckily, I was good at that game. All right, so now we've got to equip the crab. Hold E to attach that, and there we go. We are cooking small crab meat. All right, so while that's cooking, it takes a while. Uh, it tells us to pick a coconut. So let's do that. Now, one thing I know about the coconuts is... Press Q to drop it. Is you... Whoa, it's maybe not the best location for a base. <laughs> Everything's rolling away. Try it here. There we go. One thing I know about the coconuts is you can get poisoned if you eat too many of them or drink too many of them too quickly. So we've got to hit the coconut with the refined knife to open it. Turns it into a drinkable one. Press E to pick it up. Equip the coconut and drink that bad boy. There we go. Drop that. Don't need it. So next up, we need to cut down a palm tree with an axe and chop the leaves into palm fronds. Then craft a shelter so we can sleep and save our progress. So we need more lashing and we need two stone tools. Well, the two stone tools should be easy enough. There we go. It's just made a ding like a microwave. So that's turned into cooked crab meat. We'll extinguish that fire for now. And we will drop the kindling off by it there because that's where we're going to use it. Crab meat. Well, how's our food looking? Uh, let's just eat it because food goes bad quickly in this game. Tip top there though. Tip top. Oh, we need to cool down. Yeah, so this is a thing. So this start at the bottom, SPF, that is, uh, you know, you need to cool down, basically. You need to get to a location where that's no longer an issue. So let's have a look at our watch again. UV still high, still high. It's just like one part of the day where it's really bad. Oh, there you go. UV none, see? So I'm directly under this tree. So I'm getting shelter. I think we probably have to wait until about 3 p.m. in game there. 1500 hours. So I'm just going to wait this out. There we go. We're past 3 p.m. So let's try stepping out into the sun here. Yeah, it's not going down anymore, so that's fine. So this is a yucca tree. Uh, I'm thinking... Let's chop that. Give me all those fibrous leaves. Give me that lashing. And we can now make a crude axe. We need to chop down a palm tree, specifically. Let's chop down this one here. Looks like a good one to chop down to me. I'll take that coconut. Okay, so we need to get the... Leaves into palm fronds. There we go. Excellent. And craft a shelter. We need three more sticks, okay. So we need more fibrous leaves. Surprise, surprise. Oh, there's one. Let's just drop some things we don't immediately need on us right here. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, let's make another one of those lash-ins. And we just need three sticks now. Should be easy enough. Just using my compass there to find my way back. My sense of direction is appalling, by the way. It's great for, you know, a survival game where you rely heavily on it. So let's quick craft shelter. Uh, well, I suppose we can just put this right here somewhere. Doesn't really matter for now. Now we need to craft a water sill. So for that, we need a coconut flask, palm frond, lashing, cloth, and three rock. Now, this was the thing that I found tricky last time. That's purely because I'm a noob to the game, but it transpired that I needed cloth you can find washed up on the shore. Sure. But I wasn't finding any. So I'm just going to have a little run around here in the hope that I find some. Oh, here come the bats and stuff, I think. It might be birds. We should be okay. I'm just going to mess around overnight here and try and find me some cloth. I may actually sleep if I don't find some soon, just so I'm not recording in the dark, you know. Oh, here's a chest. This could have one. Oh, yes. Okay, so we can pick up the whole container, which I love. There's another fibrous leaf. I think that means we can craft another lashing. And for this, we need a coconut and a lashing as well. So we need two lashings total. And we've got no more fibrous leaves. Okay. Well, let's drop some stuff off quickly here. Oh, you can make rock piles. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's nice and neat. That's something I've just discovered. <laughs> well, let's try and find another yucca tree or some fibrous leaves. I'm not having much luck uh, finding anything I need here. So what I'm going to do is run back to our kind of little campsite. 
pick up this coconut. I make this coconut flask. Now, the tip I've been told is to drink out of that straight away. That sorts out our water for a little bit. Let's get that cloth. Uh, there's a fishing spear, that's cool. Remember, we've got that. We need a palm frond, but that can be arranged. Let's just drag this over here. So now, three stone and one lashing is all we're missing. There's a fibrous leaf just lying on top of that there. Oh, here's a yucca tree. Okay, so let's make that lash in. And now we can make the water sill. Look at that. Beautiful. That can just go there. And with that, you can fuel that effectively by putting the palm fronds into it. Okay, so let's equip them. And there we go. Beautiful. So that'll be making water for us. That's very nice. Time is 10 p.m. So I'll tell you what. We've got to drink or collect water from there anyway. Let's sleep. It's 5 a.m. now. This doesn't seem to have done anything overnight. So we'll just hang out and wait for that to kind of do its thing. All right, there it goes. So hold E to drink. There we go. Food and drink isn't looking too great, to be honest. But we do have those rations, but I'd rather hold off. We've got to craft a hammer. Okay. So again, I need a lashing. I need one more fibrous leaf. Could be an issue, in all honesty. I may have kind of run myself dry of them on this tiny island. Oh no, here we go. Give me that. Make me that lashing. Looks like I'm just missing two rocks for that, which I've got back at base. Base. Not much of a base, is it? Early days, though. Give me a chance, guys. Give me two of them. Give me a hammer. Give me that water. Yeah, water's looking okay. Water is looking okay. Wood foundation, we need four sticks. Oh, here we go. Wooden log right here. Here's one I prepared earlier, my friends. We may as well just grab all these sticks, in all honesty. See if we can craft a little shelter. Awesome. So, I think we need to now equip our hammer. Uh, what's it say? Wood foundation? Can we make that like nice and low like that? It certainly looks like it. So you just hit this like this to make the foundation. And there's your tutorial. We've done it. Let me just see something here. I've got a wall here, a wall here, and a floor here. Yeah, UV none. So that's literally all you need to do in order to get, you know, you know earlier when I had that hottest pass of the day and I was suffering and it was whinging. Um, this literally, apparently, is enough to just kind of get yourself into shelter. Pretty nice. Leveling up my physical while I'm at it, you know. Okay, well, that went pretty well. That was a, that's a tutorial done. We've made a proper mess on this beach, but oh well. This is what humans do. So I had a... I've got to stop doing that. I'm in seven days to die mode, pressing E to get into things. Uh, I need this fishing spear. Let's equip that. Oh. Oh no, I skinned it. I want to pick it up. Oh, gross. Okay, well, we've just got a bit of sardine. No time to play the mini game to light the fire. Get that cooking. Drop the kindling off. Uh, let's go and see about getting another fish here. Oh, nice. Okay, it's another fish in my pocket. It's a weird expression, but you know. Just leveled up hunting as well. Pick up that. So that's probably enough to be getting on with. I'm just going to quickly cook up this fish. Cooked fish meat. Let's eat that. Okay, and um, the tip uh, I've been told, let's have a look here. Food, yeah, it's not great, but it'll do for now. A tip I've been told is to keep your food whole. So drop it here and only use it as you need it. Now... We've got a coconut here, so we could probably hit that. And I think we can afford to eat two things of coconut before we get sick. So yeah, that puts our food up. And then we should have some water available. There we go. And I think that puts us back to being healthy. There we go. So I'm thinking we take a chance and we go and swim out over here. And see what's going on with this uh, old wreck. Now there's sharks and stuff, so this could very easily be a disaster, but I just want to see. There's a bit of leather. A bit of cloth. Hang on. Get ahead of water here a second. What don't I need? This rock. Cloth could very well come in handy. Oh, here's a container. Let's go back to our backpack and see if we can condense a little bit here. And pick that up. There we go, that's giving us some free hands. Now I don't know if we can get up top here, but I'll certainly try. 
No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's get back before the shark gets us. Let's just try and keep some things organized here. Relatively. We need to refill our water sill here, so let's get another palm tree. Pick up the palm. Drop this here. Get our little axe. And let's fuel that. Excellent. So that's doing work for us again now. Um, so yeah, that wreck was good. I mean, I've got a feeling I could get up to the top there, but I have no idea how. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get into this one over here. Now, I wonder if I craft some sort of foundation. Oh, there's, a, there's one right there. Let's go to check that one out over there. What are these? Tires. Do I hit them? Oh, yes, you do. I can't pick them up, though, eh? So I'm just dragging these tires back to the beach now. Ooh. Oh, I think a jellyfish just got me. No status effects. I'm okay, I'm okay. Interesting. So here's a tyre. There's some more over there. Should we go and, uh, go, go and get them? I think we should. Uh oh, I think the shark's off to me. Let's get back. Felt a big old knock then to me. Okay, let's check our status effects here. Nothing. Hit points are a little bit low, but it's not too bad. I'd love to get back over there. Now these tyres, I think, are used for rafts, aren't they? Sure I saw something about that. Vehicles. So with one lashing, we could make a tire raft base. Okay, that's cool. Now what I'm going to do, remember we've got these tires here. Can we take them back? While I'm over here, I'm going to quickly save. Turn the fire off. Let's drink. And let's save the game. Got a relatively clear inventory. We probably don't need this spear on us right now. Let's drop that off. Let's uh, check that in here. Okay, let's try and get over here. It looks to me like you can get on this. Okay, cool. Oh, a flare gun. That's interesting. Uh, wood container. Oh, there's some rations and stuff. So we'll pick up the whole container, thank you. I feel like that might be it for this thing. Let's try and beeline it back to a shore here. I feel like I'm going against the current, which is pretty terrifying, to be honest. Right, let's grab this tyre. Let's run back. Might as well pick up that iron as well. And grab this tyre as well. Here we go. No, don't roll away. Don't roll away. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. We've got some tires. We've got another storage container. Let's go with a collection over here. So yeah, these rations. So let's look. Food is... Food's basically four bars. If we eat that... Oh wow, that fills it up. Those things are amazing. I'm guessing they don't spoil, right? Let's drop that there with the rest of them. And it looks like it's getting dark again. So the time is 1800. So I think I'm going to leave that there. Uh, we'll go around looking for lashings and stuff for uh, fibrous leaves so we can try and craft a raft. Now, what I'm going to do with this series is see how you guys receive this before I play anything else on it. So I'm going to edit this together, throw it out there. If you want to see more of it, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment down below just to tell me. Any tips about the game, anything that you want to tell me, by all means, feel free. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a great little survival game. So, uh, yeah, be interested to see what you guys think about this one. It's pretty cool. So where's my shelter? It's so darn dark here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the game there and let me know what you think. So thank you so much for joining me in this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you want to see daily content on this channel, why not subscribe today? Thank you so much. Have a good one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye. And those clouds are finished shape.